and and I really think they caught, I, you know, I think that maybe they caught him off guard a little bit, and uh, and it was like, um, you know, I hate to say this, you know, I love Rashid. He's the first time I ever was on TV was with Rashid, you know. Yeah, yeah. He's not a debater, and he's not that equipped in the Hebrew scriptures. I know him too. I met him, but see, people have to know. This is what I was trying to say earlier. Everyone has to know their gifting and stay within their lane and gifting. When you venture out of your calling and gifting, then it becomes an embarrassment. But when it comes to debating specifically, specifically the Old Testament, he's not equipped. It's not in people. He's, he's, he's actually connected. His, just to let you know, I don't know if you know about him. His podcast is huge. It's like on the level of Joe Rogan. He brings in Mike Tyson. He brings in NFL players, Hollywood stars. He's huge. He's not some Joe Schmo. That, that's what makes it more embarrassing. So whatever God says and whatever God <clears throat> legislates, then by its very nature, it has to be moral. It cannot be immoral. Okay, so what's what he was trying to set up Robert Spencer? And he did set him up and Spencer did fall for it. If, if killing apostates is inherently evil and then God legislates the killing of apostates, then you're saying that God is inherently evil. See, this is the mistake of not knowing your Old Testament. You see, that was that was the point where where Robert kind of got off because yeah. he was he trying, said it wasn't moral. trying he said to it wasn't moral. This yeah. is where he dropped the ball. So that's Robert Spencer dropped the ball because he answered presumptuously. He answered quickly instead of thinking about the Old Testament. This is the problem with many of these apologists. They are not trained in the Old Testament and mm -hmm. they think they can simply ignore the Old Testament. The Muslims are not going to ignore the Old Testament. You with me there? Yes. So if you're going to deal with Islam and jihad, you better know your Old Testament. Yeah. And you can't, Christians, you can't bring up jihad if you don't know your Old Testament yeah. and the wars and have a good excuse that's consistent mm -hmm. and not inconsistent and hypocritical. Yeah.